Hey everybody, welcome back to another Krita tutorial. Today we're going to look at something more practical in Krita, um, how to use a tool for a specific purpose. So as you can see here, it's going to be comic related. This is not related to the pumpkin print, so if you're watching this and you think it's related, it's not. Totally different situation happening here, totally unrelated storyline. But let's get into that. So if you watch some of my videos in the past, you know that there are comic templates that you can use. So we've got a new we have comic templates here. And they have a very specific uh, setup so you can clone the layer and every time you work within a panel, you will never go outside that panel. So it kind of keeps it clean as you're working. Totally fine if you want to do that method. Um, to keep my layer uh, panel or my layer docker visually more appealing to myself, I have not done that. So we're going to go over how you can just make your own comic panels and a couple tools to make that easier when you go to make them. So let's say I have my overall page sketch. I'm done with this. It's, I'm kind of happy with it, but I want to see what it looks like with the panels. So we want to make a vector layer, which as you saw, I just did. We go down to this arrow here by the plus icon and you hit add vector layer. And the reason you want a vector layer is if you want to clone it layer to just make cleanup easier, or if you want to go back and adjust the panels, um, maybe resize them, change the line thickness, whatever it is, it gives you more flexibility to change things later on. Because if there's one thing I've noticed, even though I think this layout is final, um, as I progress with the story and the pages, it turns out it's not. Uh, I always go back and make some changes. So real quick, as you saw, I was using the rectangle tool here to make the quick the first box. Uh, here are the settings by default before you go to make anything. You can actually make it a rounded corner if you want. I obviously don't want that right now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make one box for, whoops, I locked that. Undo, there we go. I'm just gonna make one box for each size because these are pretty, they're relatively the same thing. Um, but before I do that, I'm gonna click on the panel I just made. So there are a couple things I do want to point out. Um, for some reason, Krita has a default of not having a nice crisp corner here. So we want to make sure we do that right here. There's this button from this icon, so you can get that nice crisp, crisp corner. And I like to do this as well, just, I, just in case, I don't know, if I go to expand this or convert to a path, I may want to make sure everything is as sharp and crisp as possible. So that's what I do. And now I want to make sure that this is within the safe zone, so I can go ahead and adjust that. Obviously your safe zones may be different depending on what uh, kind of comic you're creating. If you're doing digital only, like online, like webtoons and stuff, you may not even care. That's totally fine. But for this, I'm just going to make sure everything is consistent. Make sure everything is where I want it to be. All right, so now that we have some panels that we can duplicate, we're just going to hit copy and paste. Now the only downfall is if you just do the hotkeys, control C, control V, these are not gonna be perfectly aligned and that's okay. We're actually gonna fix that later. So we're gonna place this uh, roughly in the position we want. This is obviously not the size I would want, so we can adjust the width and then we're gonna copy and paste the rectangle one one more time for the bottom panel. Beautiful, totally not in the right position and that's fine. All right, so now we see everything's misaligned, but at least we have our panels now. So when I'm doing my rough, I just like to see everything at this stage, like, okay, this is a good layout, I'm happy with it. Um, I may not make adjustments, I may make adjustments, I don't know. So to make this more set in stone for myself though, I want to make sure that these panels are aligned and, you know, that, and I'm not gonna go through and just click and drag it. That's just a, a recipe for disaster. So what we can do, you go to settings, dockers, and the arrange docker. I made a video on the arrange docker forever ago. I don't even know how long ago it was. And I'm really happy to bring it back and show you how to proper, not properly use it, but like use it in a realistic situation. So we have these two rectangles here and I want them to be aligned. I want them to be center and perfect on the page. So if I click this icon in the middle here, which is going to center that, it's going to do just that. So 
So as you can see, they are now perfectly lined up. Now I may want to adjust the position. Um, maybe I want to scoot it down a little bit. And if I do want to do that, I can just uh, click and shift, oops, click. Come on. Click it and shift, click, shift, and then drag down. And that will not affect the alignment in the center, but if you think you might have shifted it a little bit, you can go back and select both of these and realign it. Now I want to do the same thing for the bottom panel. Shift click and align. Perfect. So now you saw that gap that was there. Let me undo this so we can see. There's a little gap here. Not aligned, but because we did the align, it is now lined up with the other top two rectangle panels. Now these two here are definitely not aligned. This one is higher up than this one. So what we can do is we can align it by the height. So the highest one is going to be the main reference and that gets shifted up. That is perfect. The only downfall is I don't know if these panels are aligned in the center with the other ones. So what we can do, we can actually group it here if we want and ungroup it. Or we can just select both of them and right click and group. So now what we can do is you can select all the panels including the group and make sure everything is centered. Perfect. So nothing is off alignment. Look at that. So the, all of these are centered. Beautiful. And if I want, I can do a left align. So maybe everything's the right width, but I want it to be more um, aligned in the left. So whatever was farthest to the left is what it's going to align to. And I think that actually works out perfectly in this situation. And that's pretty much it for using the Arrange Docker with your comic panels to get the best panel setup you can. Obviously the actual panel itself, if you need to adjust it, you will have to do, and then you may potentially have to realign it, depending on what you're doing. Like if I were to let me ungroup this, uh, let's see, convert shapes to, oops, that's not what I wanted. There we go to path, deselect that, let's say I want to make it a weird panel, but I still want this centered, I'm going to group it, I'm just going to move it over here, we're aligned to the left, so it's using this point down here to bring that whole group to the left. That's just something that you might need to do if you start messing with the overall panel, um, just to make sure it realigns. And that's really it. So hopefully this kind of helped you if you're interested in making your own comic or something, or you just want to play with it and see how you can make your panels if you uh, prefer it in Krita or if you like to do it within Krita itself. I know you can definitely make panels in different programs, different software. There's Clip Studio Paint, there's Affinity um, Designer now and a publisher, um, but if you'd like to just make a blocked reference and stuff like that within Krita, or you're just doing everything in Krita, it's good to know this. Alright, and that's pretty much it for this video. Just something simple with the panels and the arranged docker for making comics. Hopefully, if you're interested in making your own comic, you go ahead and do that, and this makes life a little bit easier on you. I know panels are, they were a little intimidating for me at first, but this made it a lot easier. <laughs> Alright, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and then subscribe for more videos. I'll be pushing out more tutorials like this that have more practical usage versus just going over the, the tool. Um, yeah, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.